Sun. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a boy named Aladdin. His father passed away when he was very young, so he was in charge now of supporting his mother. He would help people in the market and try to earn some money to bring food home, because they were very poor. But Aladdin was kind-hearted, so everyone loved him very much. One day, on his way to the market, a well-dressed, evil-eyed man approached him. Hello, young man. I need to ask you for a favor. I dropped my ring into a small crevice just ahead. I can't get in. Can you go in and get it for me? Together, they walked toward the crevice where the man had pointed out. The hole was just big enough for Aladdin to enter. He barely went through the hole. Inside, there was a small gas lamp which lit a cave. It was full of gold, money and jewels. The man called out from above. If you found my ring, you'll also see an old lamp there next to it. I want you to bring me both of them. Aladdin was shocked at the sight in the cave, so he got very suspicious that the man only wanted an old lamp and a ring, while the place was filled with money and jewellery. This doesn't make any sense, but... Okay, I'm coming out! When he came to the top of the hole, the evil-eyed man yelled at him. Hurry! Give me the lamp! No! I need to get out first! If you don't do as I say, I'll leave you in there! Give me the lamp! I said no! Let me get out first! The man got very angry and trapped Aladdin there. Aladdin didn't know what to do in the dark, so he took the lamp and put the ring on his finger. At that moment, green smoke came out and a genie appeared before him. Frightened, Aladdin hid right away. Don't be afraid, Aladdin. I will do you a favor. I will grant you whatever you want. But you only have three wishes. Please take me home! This was Aladdin's first wish. Suddenly, he found himself in his room. At that time, his mother, who was also in the room, asked, Ooh, when did you come in? Aladdin told his mother everything that had happened to him. I didn't have anything to eat today because of everything that happened. Do we have anything to eat, mother? I'm sorry, son, but we have nothing to eat since you didn't bring any money today. Desperately sitting in a corner, Aladdin wanted to spend time cleaning the lamp, which was very dirty. He took the lamp in his hands, and as he was rubbing it, all of a sudden the lamp genie came out of the lamp. Say what you wish of me. Oh my goodness, who are you? I'm the lamp genie. You saved me from that sorcerer. So now your wish is my command. Say what you wish of me. My mother and I are starving. We want a table full of food. Can you do this? Suddenly, a table full of different kinds of food appeared. Aladdin and his mother ate until they were completely satisfied. From that day on, thanks to the magic lamp, a very rich and happy life awaited them. And that's what really happened. Years passed by and Aladdin became a young man. He was at the marrying age. Mother, I would like to get married. My dear son, I'm so happy. You'll have the most beautiful girl in the country and I know just who that is. The Sultan has a beautiful daughter. Her name is Jasmine. What do you say?
Aladdin immediately appeared before the Sultan with a small chest full of jewels and told him of his intention. Dear Sultan, with your permission, I would like to marry your daughter. It's not that easy. Will you be able to grant my requests? Whatever you ask, dear Sultan. Then listen to me well. You will bring hundred soldiers. These soldiers will protect my palace, but all of them should have solid gold hearts in their hands. Your wish is my command, dear Sultan. Aladdin went back home and took care of this with the help of the Lamp Genie. The next day, the Sultan saw in his garden a hundred soldiers carrying solid gold hearts in their hands. Well, since you managed this, I would also like you to build a magnificent palace for my daughter. Only then I will agree that you marry. Aladdin immediately called the Lamp Genie. He gladly did whatever Aladdin asked for because he owed his freedom to him. Say what you wish of me. I want a magnificent palace for the Sultan's daughter. The Lamp Genie clapped his hands twice and a big palace appeared next to their house. Since all of the Sultan's requests had been granted, he approved the marriage. They had a wedding ceremony that lasted 40 days and 40 nights. They soon moved into their palace and one day, a salesman was passing in front of the palace. Old lamps! Old lamps! I buy and sell! I can sell this old lamp to the salesman and get a new one. I think Aladdin will be very happy. The salesman, in fact, was the sorcerer Aladdin met when he was a child. He took the old lamp and gave a new one to Jasmine. The magic lamp was now his. In the evening when Aladdin returned home, he noticed that the palace was gone. He immediately figured out what had happened. He put on the magic ring and called the giant. Say what you wish of me, but you only have two wishes left. Take me to Jasmine. Hurry up! All of a sudden, he was in the palace. When he went upstairs and peeked into the open door, he saw Jasmine serving the sorcerer and preparing the table. Aladdin got upset and waited for Jasmine to come to the kitchen. When she entered the kitchen and saw Aladdin, she was surprised. Aladdin, what's going on? Shh, be quiet and wait. I will save you. Aladdin put the ring on his finger right away and the giant appeared before him. You only have one wish left. Yes, I know. This is my last wish from you. Freeze the sorcerer and turn him into a sculpture. All right, here you go. Suddenly, the sorcerer froze and turned into a sculpture. Aladdin had his lamp once again, so he called the Lamp Genie. Say what you wish of me, but don't ever lose me again. Take us in our palace to our old place. Also send this evil man to a deserted island where he can't hurt anyone. The Lamp Genie clapped twice and the palace appeared next to their old house. Their mother was also with them. They told Jasmine everything. After that, Jasmine, Aladdin and his mother lived a very rich and happy life together. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.